My name is Matthew. I'm the program director at CHRY, and uh, I started here just about four years ago as a volunteer. Uh, but the station has been here for quite a long while. It started in 1968 as a student club here at York, and actually it started in a building just outside the window over there called Vanier. And uh, it went to the FM dial in 1987, and so we've been on the FM dial for about 22 years now. Uh, we are a nonprofit, community-based organization, but we're a volunteer-driven organization too. So staff members make up only a small fraction of uh, the people who come through this space. The vast majority are community members and also students from York University. And that is what makes this space so unique, is that there are so many people contributing in so many different ways to what is an overall vision for uh, community media. My name is Alyssa, and I'm part-time technical production coordinator here at CHRY 105.5. Yeah, we have a soundboard here. A lot of the buttons are for training purposes, such as the fact that we don't have TT turntables in this studio, but for someone that wants to use vinyl for their upcoming show or fill-in. This is our production computer. We use a bunch of programs to edit roll calls, scripts, um, commercials, ads. Yes, my name is Jim Lewis. I'm a programmer at CHRY, also the chair of the board for 2009 year. I do news now. I do conscious vibes on a Monday morning between 7 between 4 and 7 in the a.m. and I do a couple of fill-ins around here so I'm always active and interested in what's happening in the community and that's the reason why I'm so active with things that are happening here so hope everybody is getting involved with what's happening around. We're actually in our music library right now and quite a few of our resources that programmers will use for their program uh, exist here. So we still have quite a substantial record collection just over 7,000 LPs and some 45s but uh, this came with us from our earlier studios, which were in the Vanier building. We also have all our CDs, which have been sleeved and kind of compactly fitted into these uh, cabinets here. Uh, oh, well, I could demonstrate one second. And so it was really important for us, uh, it was really important for us to make a bit more space in the studio while preserving the collection. We didn't want to lose our collection, but at the same time we were recognizing we just didn't have the space to store upwards of 20,000 CDs comfortably in this space. So by having it, arranged very neatly in cabinets and then uh, referenced with our digital database. People can still access it, uh, they can still find everything they need, but we now have the space and the space is really important. We use this one to, uh, or the space to feature live musicians, uh, small ensembles, and it really is quite wonderful to have. If we stroll into here, the studio is actually uh, under renovations, but it's kind of good to walk in. Uh, this is Brother Kwame. Brother Kwame, I hope you don't mind if I just kind of uh, get you to Stop, participate yeah. in this video, if that's okay. It's okay. Excellent. So we're in the main studio at CHRY. Brother Kwame is one of the programmers uh, here at the station. And how long have you been here, Brother Kwame? I'd say about three years now, and counting. And uh, your, the main show that you do has always been News Now. You've been a part of the collective. Yes, yes I have. And what areas of news, uh, community news, do you like to cover most? Well, we like to cover what's called controversial quote unquote. But we like to cover things that let you say hmm and things that affect the African Caribbean community in particular and things that are positive to us. Um, for example the African Focus School or education or uh, community development projects happening here or there. Just things that are outside of the norm negative that we see in the everyday quote unquote uh, regular media. Most people who come into CHY usually will be here in our foyer first um, and they'll see all the mailboxes for the different programs, they'll see our various notice boards, they'll see a lot of posters of different artists and different events happening in the city and I should let you know if you want to volunteer then this is a good place to start. We actually have our volunteer sign up form over here. And once you sign up there, you're going to kind of become part of our mailing list uh, and you'll be getting information from our volunteer coordinator. But we'll make our way into the main office as well. And this is the main workspace. So as I mentioned, there are staff members at CHRY and each department at CHRY has someone in charge. There's a music department, an advertising department, production and technical department, volunteer, spoken word, and uh, then programming and operations. And uh, it's uh, later on a Friday afternoon, so fewer people are on the campus right now, but uh, there still are a few people that we can chat with. 
Yes. Would you like to introduce yourselves to uh, the people visiting janeandfinch.com? Let them know a little bit about yourself, what you do here at CHRY? Um, first of all, I want to say janeandfinch.com. It's a good thing because, you know, all the time we hear that Jane and Finch, Jane and Finch. So I went up Jane and Finch the other day to see if there's any crime. And I sat there for the whole day. Nothing happened at Jane and Finch. So I hope things are happening on janeandfinch.com. I want to say keep up the good work and do all of that vibration. I go by the name of Sankofa. And the name is a concept. It's an African from the Akan people of Ghana. And it means go back to go forward. So once I took the name Sankofa, and every time you call my name, my job is to go back so I can go forward. That means educating my nation, my African nation. So that's why we're here volunteering on the radio. We do dub poetry, and the poetry is to inform, educate, enlighten, incite. We do news now and the Kabandwa, and um, that's it, to educate, to enlighten, to speak for those who don't have a voice. And that's what we do here at CHRY, and uh, we love doing it. We, we, you know, we come in here. I know Jane and Finch.com would know this, but at a point I was driving a car. I had no windshield wiper, and it was a snowstorm. So I had to travel four hours coming in from Brampton to coming in for four in the morning cleaning off my, my wiper with my hand, taking the snow off, and coming in with no tires. And I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Then I realize why I'm doing it, because we love it. So if you want to do radio, janeandfinch.com, CHRY is the place to go. So we just want to say that. One love. Hi, I'm Danae Peart, uh, CHRY's operation coordinator. Uh, some people call me the station manager. Um, when, you, when you find an organization such as ours, which has upwards of 150 volunteers participating every year, um, people giving up hours of their life, um, for this and it, it must be for something bigger than them because they're not getting paid to do so and so for me it is a passionate thing why I'm still here it is a connection thing you know we put the unity in community um, so we're very very much um, active and always seeking better ways to be active in our communities because we don't boast of being perfect at what we do but we're also very receptive to critique and very receptive to what the community has to offer. Anybody who um, you know resides in Jane and Finch can tell you that while they're tuning in, they're also actively engaged in listening. Um, they can tell you that if they call the station with their opinion, it is heard and not only heard, sometimes allowed to be expressed broadly. Um, that's the kind of connection that we have with our surrounding community. It's a connection that is only allowable because we're a campus-based community station. If we were just strictly campus, we would not have been able to make the kind of connections we've made in the community. All right, well, uh, we do have quite a variety of programming. A lot of people recognize CHOY because of its reggae program. We have a diverse variety of reggae that is presented here. Uh, but another important quality is that we feature a lot of Canadian reggae and that is very unique uh, so we celebrate a lot of independent musicians in this city and in this country in that field we have a lot of hip-hop programs uh, and there again we have a lot of people who add a lot of style because uh, they certainly like to spin and we had quite a few DJs who have gone on to great things we have programming that touches on independent rock music experimental music uh, classical and avant-garde music as well electronica and you can go on and on and on uh, but in terms of spoken word programming too, we have your current affairs and news programs that delve into daily topics in the community. We have uh, programming that focuses on uh, migrant workers, uh, labor issues, and uh, just uh, even arts and culture. It comes from so many different ways, but within each of those categories, there is a way to cover it from an alternative perspective again, always emphasizing that we have a role to play and we have to set ourselves apart from mainstream media, and that is what makes us so special. We are uh, involved in many ways in the Jane and Finch community. Part of the way we are involved is that Jane and Finch community members are programmers or are volunteers, and of course we always invite them to come and contribute. But in other ways, we have a presence in the community, whether it's sponsoring local plays. I know that one of the most familiar uh, ways that CHY is present, though, is at the Driftwood Community Festival, and that's something that, as program director, I was really happy that we got to do this year because last year it didn't happen. Uh, so it's something that started quite a few years ago, and it's been a tradition every year to be there. And it's really fun to connect with the community, to have a presence there because so many organizations are represented. And increasingly we want to have a presence supporting schools, having students visit from local schools. 
uh, we want more of that too. We want uh, we want the community to be aware that we are here as a resource for them, and uh, that we want very much to be a part of this community in many ways. And so, if you invite us, we invite you. That's that's part of it too. If you're interested in uh, getting in touch with CHRY, you can visit our website www.chry.fm. You can always tune in 105.5 FM on your FM dial, or catch us on your Rogers Digital Box channel 945. But also. You can come and visit us. We're in the Student Center building on York University campus, room 413 right at the top. And uh, yeah, we'd be glad to have you come by.